Now in example 6 in the previous video you have seen we had some number in the numerator which was 3 plus 4i divided by i. So we have multiplied numerator denominator by i but now I have 1 minus i. So this is the idea now here is called the conjugate. So you take 1 plus i this is the conjugate of this 1 plus i. So what happens finally in the denominator you know these are conjugate so a is 1 and b is 1 here. So your answer should be 1 is squared plus 1 is squared in the denominator. In the numerator you just use FOIL. That one will give you 3 times 1 is 3 and then minus 7 i squared and then plus will be 3 i minus 7 i. So finally we got 2 here and i squared is negative 1 so this will be 7 3 plus 7 is 10 and then you have minus 4i now if you distribute 2 you get 5 minus 2i so we are done with this and we can say our a is 5 and b is negative 2 i want to take three more quick examples if you have square root of negative 81, this is not a real number. We know that this is complex or uh, imaginary. So how you do that? This one can be written as square root of 81 and square root of negative 1. Square root of 81, we know this is 9. And the square root of negative 1 is i. So this is imaginary number. This. Now you have 125. This one also you can write negative 1 and then 125. So if you already know how to get, get a squared number from here, then you can write immediately this is your i. This one I want to think like this 25 times 5. So 25 times 5 is 125. The square root of 25 will be 5. Keep here and then another just stays here. And then in this case, First, you need to say that square root of negative 3 will be same as square root of 3i times this one will be square root of 27i because negative when you see put an i outside. Now, square root of 3 and square root of 27 you can combine which is 81i squared. So square root of 81 is 9 and i squared is negative 1. So your answer is negative 9. Now we'll be talking about powers of i. So first you remember a few basics like i to the 0 should be 1. Any number we put here other than 0, x1 and 0 will make it 1. Then i is just i. This is this. Now when i have i squared, we have seen this is negative 1. Now if you multiply both sides again by i, so you get i times i squared is i to the 3. The other side will be negative i. So these are four results very important. We'll check with more examples. Suppose we want to determine the value of i to the 57. So the idea is like you divide 57 by 4 and see what is the remainder. So you know that if you divide it one time, you get a 4 here, 17, you get 4 times, and your remainder is 1. So that means this one is same as i to the 1, which is just i. Now let us see what happens when I have exponent 114 on i. So we'll be doing the same thing. Do the same thing. Divide 114 by 4. So you go two times and you can go eight times. You have a remainder is two. Then this one is same as i squared, which is negative one. And we are done for this exponent.